this group of teachers here have found some success and, and with remote teaching and some things that they have found that has worked. My kids seem to be, you know, they enjoy it and I think it's a lot of what goes on, what you're presenting to the kids and you know, they seem to be okay. I mean, you have your few kids that don't really participate that maybe should be in person, but the majority of my kids that come to my Zooms, I mean, they're ready to go. They got like little desk in their houses and their own little work area. The parent piece is huge because now their living room or work kitchen table, that's their classroom. And so the parent support is really, really needed with the remote kids. We talk all the time about how it's not the same. It's not. You can't go and expect them to learn spelling or sight words the way they do when they're in person or reading horizons or writing, writing or, pencil, yeah. and so you have to start thinking outside of the box. They need to be happy, whether they're sitting at their table learning or learning in the classroom. So yeah. if I can make the kids smile, that's my goal for the day. proposed to Mr. Gibbons a, a little idea. And I asked him if I could go take my class on field trips. And and I I kind of explained what I meant by that. And I meant like, you know, I would at that point I was thinking of Zoom. Uh -huh. But that was a mess. And then I figured out how to live stream through YouTube uh -huh. through a different app. And and I, I gave him some ideas of what I wanted to do and why I wanted to do them. I explained to him that part of it was selfish. Part of it was to keep me sane. Sure. And to keep me thinking outside of the box or to keep me um, fresh because I'm not feeling fresh behind the screen. Um, and he gave me the go ahead. I took them to Cottonwood Airport and I took them flying. I literally went up in an airplane and filmed what we were flying. Oh, I and it. I saved the videos so that I can post them later as an activity for Seesaw for the kids that don't get to see it. Mm -hmm. um, we went to the fire station. We interviewed the fire department. Um, I went to a dairy farm. I'm friends with Elliot Grandia at 17, so we're gonna go. Um, we're gonna go to the news station and see how the news is made. But as much as it is to provide them something, it provides me something. So I think I think in all of this. Part of it is taking care of yourself as well. Does it, I mean, would you say, would you agree that in-person is better? Is, I mean, is it better to have them, I mean, with you? I mean, is that, yes. or is it? Yeah, okay. yes. in, in some things that we're teaching, like writing, for instance, that's a, that is an in-person curriculum. I mean, it is hard to teach writing online. I mean, we're doing it, making it work. You kind of got to rethink ab uh, about how you teach writing. But when, you know, there's no paper and pencil at their house and they don't have anything to write on, that those are things that, that make it different, uh, you know, difficult for them. So there are kids that just want to come to school to be with their friends. Sure. Uh, my grandkids included, you know, they, they want to go back to school. So that social piece is huge. It is important. Remote teaching is messy. For me to sit there and say, oh, show me your whiteboard. What whiteboard? It, 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 yeah, what whiteboard, what sure. paper, hold it closer, what, I can't hear you. Sure. Um, there, there is messiness to it. Sure. Um, and, and it is hard, I can't, I, it's hard to see what my kids are working on. If you look at all those negatives and, and you don't focus on what you can do mm -hmm. and what you're gonna do and what you'd like to do. And what the kids are able to do. And what do. they're able to do, <laughs> then you're gonna be stuck in the messy. What have, you, what have you learned about yourself during this period? What are some things that you've learned? But I learned that, that I can handle what's tossed at me sometimes. That's awesome. The first couple weeks of school, I was ready to retire. I was ready to just sure. get me out of here. What's sure. going on? Um, but as it's gone on, you know, we figured it out together. They've supported me and we've figured it out together. And, and um, I told the kids right when the year started, this is new for all of us. And we're gonna do it. We're all gonna get through it. We're gonna make mistakes, but we're in this together to get through first grade and we can do it. I've learned that I, I love kids, whether they're with me here in person or they're at home. I'm excited to see them, and that's what makes my day. While all this other stuff might be messy, just spending time with them and engaging with them during the day makes me happy and excited. Even though they're at home, I still have made a connection with them and feel like I'm right there with them. 
I think part of what I've learned about myself is that I'm okay being uncomfortable. Sure. I'm okay, I don't know, I think I'm more creative than I thought I was. Um, sure. There are times I cried. There yeah, are times where me. I, yeah. I got mad. Sure. There were times that I wanted more than what I could get. I wanted somebody else to tell me how to do it. Mm -hmm. But gotcha. there wasn't anybody else to tell me how to do it. And I was mad. I wanted more support or more this and more that. And, you know, in all reality, I think, yeah, that stunk. But I think it made me a better person, stronger, maybe a better teacher, maybe. You're going to make a difference. Mm -hmm. So, you know, do it. Come here. Be ready to face it. It changes every day. And that's the important part, man. It, it's, it's, that's the... That's like the bee's knees. That's, the, that's the, the thing that makes you, you do this job every day is to make that impact so that you know you made some indelible mark on some kid's life to make them do something. These kids need people advocating for them and fighting for them. Mm -hmm. No matter what background they come from, they, they, need, they need teachers in the classroom rooting for them. And I think that's what's important about it. You're going to make a difference in that child and you're going to see that light bulb go on, which is why I like teaching the younger grades especially, because you see it all the time. Sure, sure. Um, mm -hmm. And make that connection. That connection is what's going to make that child blossom.